Hello friends, welcome to Sandeep's Biology. This video is about beta oxidation of fatty acid. The process of beta oxidation of fatty acid occurs in three steps. So before talking about these steps, let us see some information related to it. The lipids are mainly stored as triacyl glycerol in adipose tissues as far as human beings or vertebrate animals are concerned. So lipids are stored as triacylglycerol or triglyceride in adipose tissues. Now this triacylglycerol it is broken down into glycerol and fatty acid. So first diacylglycerol then monoacylglycerol and finally glycerol and three fatty acids molecule. The process is known as lipolysis which is catalyzed by the enzyme called hormone sensitive triacylglycerol lipase which requires three water molecules and breaks triacylglycerol into glycerol and three fatty acids molecule. So this fatty acid produced inside the adipose tissues is transported to blood so it is transported to blood inside the blood fatty acid is bounded to albumin so fatty acid plus albumin fatty acid bounded to albumin so fatty acid molecules are transported in bound state with albumin and this fatty acid albumin complex is then transported to desired tissues right for example liver heart the cardiac tissue then muscle where the fatty acid gets oxidized and energy that is the molecules of ATP are produced right and the glycerol produced here it is transported to liver where it is converted to glycerol 3 phosphate so inside the liver glycerol is converted to glycerol 3 phosphate and glycerol 3 phosphate it can be used to synthesize triacylglycerol or it can enter into the glycolysis to produce ATP right so glycerol can be used for the biosynthesis of triacylglycerol or it can enter into the glycolysis and the fatty acid by the process of beta oxidation in the desired tissues it produces ATP that is energy right so now let's see about the products which we which cell gets by the beta oxidation beta oxidation of fatty acid yields two products right so for example beta oxidation of long chain fatty acid right remember we are talking about beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid which is having even carbon right uh, we will be talking about beta oxidation of unsaturated fatty acid in later videos so beta oxidation of fatty acid yields two products right this process is beta oxidation yields two products first is the electron carriers that are NADH and FADH2 these two are electron carriers when it carries the electron to electron transport chain right when these molecules pass from electron transport chain it can generate ATP right so one NADH molecule can produce three ATP molecules and one FADH2 molecule when it passes through electron transport chain it can produce two molecules of ATP the another product of beta oxidation is acetyl CoA acetyl coenzyme A acetyl coenzyme A can enter into TCA cycle that is Krebs cycle 
to oxidize it completely and to produce the ATP and acetyl CoA inside the liver can be used to produce ketone bodies so inside the liver acetyl coenzyme A can be used to produce ketone bodies the ketone bodies are water soluble molecules which can be used by brain and other tissues where glucose is not available right so the beta oxidation of fatty acid produces two important products that is the electron carriers and acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme A can enter into the Krebs cycle or inside the liver. It can, can be used to produce ketone bodies, right? Now let's discuss about the steps of beta oxidation. There are three steps of the beta oxidation process. The first is activation of fatty acid. First step is activation of fatty acid right so once the fatty acid molecules is transported to desired tissue inside the cell of that tissue fatty acid gets activated inside the cytoplasm of that cell so fatty acid is converted to fatty acyl coenzyme A which is activated form of fatty acid the second step transport of fatty acid into mitochondria so the second step is transportation of the activated fatty acid inside the mitochondria because the process of beta oxidation occur inside the uh, matrix of mitochondria now this transportation is done by carnitine carrier system or carnitine shuttle so it is done by carnitine shuttle or which is known as carnitine carrier system and the third step beta oxidation proper in mitochondrial matrix so once the fatty acid molecule is transported by carnitine shuttle inside the mitochondrial matrix the beta oxidation proper the process of beta oxidation proper can be done and fatty fatty acid molecule is oxidized so first we will be talking about these activation of fatty acid and in next video i'll be talking about the transport of fatty acid in mitochondria and later uh, beta oxidation proper in mitochondrial matrix so this video is about just the first step activation of fatty acid and these two steps will be discussed in next video so let's see the first step so first fatty acid is converted to fatty acyl adenylate right so let us see First, so this is our fatty acid molecule. It is converted to fatty acyl adenylate or simply acyl adenylate. So this is acyl adenylate right or fatty acyl adenylate the enzyme catalyzing this step is acyl coenzyme A synthetase right so this step is catalyzed by the enzyme acyl coenzyme A synthetase which requires ATP so ATP is used and pyrophosphate is released right so pyrophosphate is released from ATP and the remaining adenosine monophosphate AMP is attached here 
and the structure is acyl adenylate then the acyl adenylate it is converted to fatty acyl coenzyme A right so this is known as fatty acyl coenzyme or simply acyl coenzyme A and here coenzyme A is required so coenzyme A it combines with acyl adenylate and produces acyl coenzyme A and the AMP is released so coenzyme A is used here and AMP is released this structure acyl coenzyme A it is known as the activated form of fatty acid so it is activated fatty acid right which is present in the cytoplasm now the next step is the transport of this activated fatty acid by carnitin shuttle into the mitochondria so we will be discussing the second step in next video i hope this video is helpful if you are watching this video till here please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching